All right, YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Digital 45, James Ziegler. I'm going to do the L's. Starting off with Lisa Weapon, the director's cut. Lisa Weapon 2, the director's cut. Lisa Weapon 3, the director's cut. <laughs> and of course, Lisa Weapon 4. I don't think they ever released the director's cut for that, but there it is. Next up, we got a box set for a film of Leprechauns. Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2, Leprechaun 3 in space. Oh, no, 4 is in space. And I think Leprechaun 3 is Vegas. <laughs> but yeah, the first le four Leprechaun movies with Warwick Davis. Jennifer Aniston is in the first one. Then we got Alfred Hitchcock's The Lady Vanishes, the Criterion Collection. What's up next? Followed by Marlon Brando in Last Tango in Paris. Then we got Look Who's Talking To. I gotta find the first one. But there's part two and what three and there's three I believe there's three next up we got Labyrinth with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly next up we got Kim Basinger Kevin Spacey and Dan DeVito, L.A. Confidential. Next up, we got John DeVolta and Joaquin Phoenix in Ladder 49. I apologize for the rude chomping in the background, but... You know, every time I do these videos, my dog has got to be involved in it somehow. Then we got the Disney classic, Lady and a Tramp. Next up, we got Pamela Sue Martin, Robert Conrad, and Louise Fletcher in The Lady in Red. Next up, we got the original La Femme Nikita movie, not not the TV show. Then we got Will Ferrell, Danny McBride, Land of the Lost. Next up, we got The Last American Virgin, where they have the old school VHS slipcover on it. As you can see, it's from NVD Rewind. But they make it like the old video cassette <laughs> cover, if you get the covers, which is cool. Next up, we got Edward G. Robinson and Little Caesar. Next up, we got The Lion King. Followed by The Lion King One and a Half. Next up, we got Daniel Day-Lewis and Lincoln. Next up, we got 
Followed by Dudley Moore and Kirk Cameron in Like Father, Like Son. Then we got the movie called Long Shot. You know, this is one of my recent pickups. If you've been following my videos. Next up, we got Jim Carrey and Liar Liar. Next up, we got Matt Dillon and Liar's Moon. Another MVD video. Looks like they got the old VHS cover. Of course, you know. They've got a different cover underneath. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Next up, we got Timothy Dalton, License to Kill. <sighs> Sorry about the yawn. A little tired. Next up, we got Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence in Life. Next up, we got a movie, and it's called Life Also, but it's a sci-fi horror. Ryan Reynolds is in this. Next, we got some Cam Cameron Diaz and Ewan McGregor in A Life Less Ordinary. Next up, we got Monty Python's Life of Brian movie. Next up, we got a movie called, presented by Stan Lee, called Light Speed. I don't know if I watched this one yet or not. Don't remember it too off, too well. Next up, we got Jamie Lee Curtis in Love Letters, also with James Keach. This is a olive film, huh? All right. I don't know. A little bit. There it is. Love Letters with J Jamie Lee Curtis. Next up, we got Lucky Slevin, Bruce Willis. Next up, we got a TV show. The complete classic series of Lost in Space. One of my pride editions. Next up, we got a shit movie called Lost in the Sun. Next up, we got Bill Murray and Lost in Translation. Followed by the Disney classic, The Love Bug, which is basically a Herbie movie. I should put these with the Herbie movies, but it is what it is. Next up, we got a movie called Little Children. Next up, we got the Little Fuckers with Robert De Niro and Ben Stiller. The third movie in the Meet the Parents movies. I should keep that with them, huh? Oh, well, it is what it is. It's out back order. All right, next up, we got Jodie Foster and Martin Sheen and the little girl who lived down the lane. Next up, we got the Disney class, The Little Mermaid, the original. If 
followed by The Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea. And one of the made straight to video movies Disney put out back in the day. All right, next we got Adam Sandler and Little Nicky. And Rick Manis and an all star cast and Little Shop of Horrors. All right, next we got a movie called Laser Blast. Next up, we got Tom Selleck and Lassiter. Next up, we got Bruce Willis and Last Man Standing. Followed by a movie called Last of the Grads. Then we get Linda Florentine in The Last Seduction. Also with uh, Bill Pullman, I think. So it says, I should start wearing my glasses when I do these. Next up, we got Lance Guest in The Last Starfighter. Uh, by Robert De Niro and The Last Tycoon. The day this released that on Ken Blu-ray on Kino Lover. I'd like to pick that up on there. Next up, we got Woody Harrelson and LBJ. Standing for Linda B. Johnson, if you didn't know. He's the president that took over after Kennedy was shot. He was the vice president at the time. Next up, we got Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, and Madonna in the League of Their Own. Next up, we got Tom Cruise and Tim Curry in the movie Legend. Next up, we got John Wayne and Sophia Loren in... Legend of the Lost. Yeah, we should be getting that fixed too, that noise. That's uh, our uh, thermos. Next up, we got Legend of Zorro. Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zadia Jones. Next up, we got Paul Newman and the left-handed gun. Then we got Jim Carrey and Lemony Snickets in a series of unfortunate events. Then we got Tatum O'Neill and Chrissy McNichol in Little Darlings. Ryan O'Neill just died the other day, her dad. Age of 79 or 80 or something like that. Next up, we got Leviathan. <laughs> Followed by... John Wayne, A Cat of Thousand, and The Longest Day. <coughs> Excuse me. Still a book. Next up, we got Burt Reynolds in The Longest Yard.
followed by Am Sandler version, The Longest Yard. Next up, we got James Keach, Stacy Keach, Robert Carradine, David Carradine, Keith Carradine, Randy Quaid, and Dennis Quaid in The Long Riders. About the James Gang and Younger Gang. Very good movie. I suggest you see it. If you like westerns, it's worth the watch. Next up, we got Brendan Fraser and Looney Tunes, the movie. <laughs> oh, boy. John Voight and Margaret and Burt Young and looking to get out. Then we got Tuesday Weld and Lord Love a Duck. Followed by Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. And Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Next up, we got Roger Moore in his first outing as James Bond in Live and Let Die. Ben Affleck and Live by Night. Followed by Bruce Willis and Live Free or Die Hard. Next up we got Pierce Bronson and Live Wire. Followed by Timothy Dalton and the Living Daylights. Next up, we got The Lodger. Followed by Logan. See Jackman, you know, the. X-Men movie. Next up, we got Stanley Kubrick's Lolita with James Mason and Shelley Winters. Next up, we got a movie called Lady Madonna, Triple X, signed XXX. That's what the X is for. It's not an X movie. Jeff, young Jeff Bridges in that movie. Next up, we got Mark Wahlberg and Lone Survivor. Next up, we got Chuck Norris and Lone Wolf McQuaid. And finally, to wrap up the L's. We got the mini series Lonesome Dove with Robert Duvall and Tommy Lee Jones. And that's going to wrap up our L's. Don't give a thumbs up and like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, see ya.